Look at this. If this isn't the picture of fishing perfection, then I don't know what is. Dude, the aerial views, I just flew the drone. Yeah. It's huge. Is nothing it really? But, nothing but a dude, ton of points. There's like some islands in here. It looks beautiful. So this does not look big, but according to my boy Weston right here, yeah. who just used a drone, it is deceptively big. We are on a one of the most famous fishing locations on the planet, the Bienville Plantation. Got our guide Steve coming down, and Weston and I are going to be attempting the first time ever on this channel the mystery tackle box juggernaut bass fishing crate 16 to 22 items $140 value box number 332 let me tell you guys one or two things about this box if you buy this you're gonna have a chance to win a $35,000 crest liner Guggen rods hats and more and you can only find them at Dick's Sporting Goods so if you like what you see head over there be sure to buy it and if, if you just want your nice standard MTB Pro box for all different species. This one's a bass box. Be sure to use my promo code HYPE. Click the link down below. Get $10 off your very first box. Support my channel. I'd appreciate it. Without further ado, you ready, Weston? Let's go fish, man. You ready, Steve? Absolutely. All right, we're heading out there. Let's see what today has for us. Time to bust this bad boy open. What do you think's in here, Weston? Probably a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything for sure. 14 items in here, probably minimum, I think. Every box is different. That's yep, the thing. So that's who true. knows, to be honest. All right, let's take a look. Here we go. Let's see. First look at the juggernaut box. I see a couple swim baits off the bat. This could catch something giant. The Guggen Squad Junior Contender. I'm, I'll show you guys all the items. They got the clickbait. We've got the baby bull shad. Nice. That's gonna be key for today, possibly. There's so many. There's so many freaking baits. <laughs> you got <laughs> necos. I don't. I. There's just so many freaking baits. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's just. Let's just line them up. This is too crazy. Yeah. So we just took out all the baits. Here's what you guys are looking at right there. If you want to enter to win surprises, this is what you do when you open your box. This is everything that Weston and I are going to try to use to catch fish. We've got quite the selection here. What do you want to start with? I'll give you first choice, my friend. First choice? Yes. Mm, mm, maybe a little bladed jig. I, I like know. that. I like start that. Start on the move, cover some water. All right. You know what? And then I'm also going to start with, I'm going to start with a little crankbait. Let's, let's just kick it off a little bit easy here. Okay. You think we can catch one in every bait in here? I know we can, but can we do it in one day, in one <laughs> challenge video? It's going to be tough. <laughs> find out we're ready yeah i'm excited this is this has been on my bucket list to fish for a very long time finally out here, well, we're glad you're here. first cast in the plantation and if you have any tips for us you know um, locations to throw exactly. we, we'd appreciate that Try to catch as many fish as possible on all these variety of baits we got right, back here. Right. Oh, oh, that was a bite. Well, oh, that didn't take too long. Yep. Oh, he came back for it. He's still here. He's still here, no dude. Way. You might be able to see him. Throw, throw it by me. You'll see if you can get him. He Where came twice at? at it. Where were you at? I uh, just throw in parallel to these. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was perfect. Your cast. I don't know how you miss a crankbait twice. <laughs> That him? Is that him? Is that a, is that the little baby? The little baby Bienville fish? <laughs> yeah, you gotta start somewhere. Oh, guys, <laughs> here's number one on this on this legendary place, and I promise you, they will get bigger. This is just, just they get bigger, right, Steve? They get bigger. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> you see why maybe he missed it a couple times. Yeah, I, yeah, I can definitely see why. He's got nowhere to go but up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We can only go up from here. All right, well, here you go, guys. Fish, fish number fish one. Hold him real close. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there you go. Start the juggernaut box. See ya. Well, that's number one. Let's and let's see, I don't even know how many we got. So you're using two baits right now. Two, so so one, two, three. Let's see. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, nineteen items. We have nineteen items in this box. So let's go ahead and choose the next one. Let's stick with moving baits since it's still early in the morning. Do we have wind later today or no? You know what? Let's just go with the zinger. You can't go wrong with that. We're going to go with the zinger. And should I add a trailer to it to make it a little more enticing? Let's go ahead and add a Sukoshi bug on the back of it. To add a little extra bulk. Looks a little funky. You ever seen something like this, Steve? What do you think about this? Well, uh, I like the, I like the looks of the bait, but I'm not really sure about the the trailer. Yeah, I, I, that, that's kind of uh, concerns me a little. You bit. know what? But you you know you've been guiding on here for 23 years, right? Yes. I bet these bass have never seen a combination like this before. Probably not. See, that's, Probably not. We're thinking outside the box right here. And we got the shallow. We got the shallow grass. We're gonna go right on top of it. We got a little extra bulk with that trailer. Let's see if we can let's see if we can entice something special to come out. Hit this bait. <laughs> and she was sitting sitting down yep. and he decided he wanted to make a cast right behind her uh -oh. well he did this number uh-oh uh -oh. oh right no here. was it a single hook or treble hook that treble hook oh no yeah. you gotta get it out for her unfortunately it, it, it went all the way through and came out oh you can bend the barb down then yeah. Yeah. oh well, that, that was actually fortunate then so yeah. uh so I, I cut it off and i just pulled it right out you know, with the oh, smooth great. side. Yeah. Oh, great. And uh, I got a little Neosporin and a Band-Aid, yeah. but she's good. she went right back to fishing. Oh, wow. She, she, was, she was a true... Yeah, that's, that's impressive. But the guy, but the guy he, buddy, he just he just flipped out. He just he just lost it. Oh, really? Yeah, was, oh, there he is. There's number two. I got a... I got a... Again, it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. Hey. Is that the two for one, or did you take the Sakoshi off of there? Oh, that's the two for one. That's, oh, man. Yeah, this bass has never seen... A spinnerbait with a little little crawl looking type deal on the back. Hey, we're gonna upgrade every fish, guys. By the time we get to number six, bait 16, we'll have a 16 pounder. I'll right, see you later, little guy. All right, what to use next? Weston is now using. I'm getting the struggle bus out here on the swim baits. I mean, you you going for the big fish though? You using the you got the baby bull shad tied on? Yep. yep All right. Oh, well, let's see what I should use. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna let's go to the bottom now. Let's try a little try a little diesel jig plus vial bug action for our next bait. Is it like a swim jig? Bait number three for me. You gotta think that this combination right here is gonna produce a more quality size fish in theory. There we go guys. This is a pretty big profile. I'm gonna flip this into the reeds. Ah, see if we can get our first big fish right. from Bienville. And we are looking at, we're looking pretty deep right here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. How deep are you? Ten feet of water. Yep. All right. Got picked up. Yep. All right, in the drop. I wasn't quite ready for that, but it's coming in. I can't see with the sun. I think we might have upgraded again, potentially. Bring him home. Oh, no, we downgraded. <laughs> Weston, we downgraded. You're going the wrong direction with the jig. Oh, man. How does this happen? You would think a jig would catch a bigger fish. Fish is fishing. He ate it pretty good. Look how sharp, dude, look how sharp these gripper teeth are. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You got to definitely rough you up. He wanted it. Yeah, he didn't want it. Yeah, he wanted it. You can get a little bigger. You need to get a lot bigger, little guy, before you eat something like this. Boop. That's another two. That's the vial and the Yeah, juice. that was another That was another two for one right here. What are you tying on over here, Weston? Uh, well, I'm tying on a leader at the moment because okay. I got straight braid. I figured there was no top water in there, so I'm just going to go with a floral leader so I can tie on this headhunter. Good call. Oh, nice. To the go-to right head, Yeah, that headhunter looks really, really cool. So it's got the hook in here. It's oh, magnetized, okay. right? So it's kind of Oh, hidden. is it really magnetized? I've actually never yep. fished this bait. So, you have a, so okay. then once they bite... It kind of frees that weight, right? So that they're not going to shake. Oh, that's the hook. awesome! So nice little soft. Is that too. the main forage out here that they're eating? Or they eat, what are they eating out here? Shad or bluegill? Oh, probably probably shad. Shad, okay. Yeah, well, they'll eat oh, bluegill this morning. morning. <laughs> once that water gets warmer. Gotcha. They'll shift gears over into those bluegill. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, let's see. I'm going to cut off the jig here. 
And seeing that water temp at 62, I'm definitely gonna go with this lipless crankbait next. I'm gonna rip it in the grass. This is a CXV 65, half an ounce. Let's go ahead and try this guy out. And we're actually gonna try, let's try fishing a little bit deeper perhaps. Let's see if we can't find one of those big mondos hanging out in that grass, buried in there. Rip this right out of it. Okay, nice reaction strike. Second cast. There's definitely, definitely plenty of quantity in here. It's another little guy. <laughs> Have you ever seen? Oh, it's a crappie! Big old speckle <laughs> Making LFG proud right here. I was about to ask, have you ever seen a client reel in like a smaller fish than a bigger one eat it? No. Not yet? No. Okay. No. You hungry, dude? You want to fry him up? Fry him up? <laughs> uh, we're, we're counting, though. We're counting for the challenge. It's nice to know you don't discriminate. <laughs> That's right. Fish is a fish. Fish is a fish. Oh, next bait. We have not been here for long, guys. We're getting through this. Yeah, that is true. But uh, I have been choosing the easier baits to get through. We you got a couple ones, you know, we got the junior contenders, some bigger hard swim baits. That's probably going to take a little more time and effort, and we'll probably catch a bigger fish. So don't you worry. We will find the bigger fish. I can't control when they come out, though. All right. You know what? Let's go with... I'm going to go with Sticky's EWG hook, and we're going to combine that with the Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Garlic and salt impregnated, I like that. And there's just a segmented worm right here. And the segmented body is going to give it a lot more action. That's probably one of the uh, staples out here, the Senko style stick baits. Mm -hmm. It is. All right. People like fishing a weightless or weighted usually. Um, well, usually, but don't put a weight on it, it unless it's re wind's really blowing. Okay. And we're having a hard time. But usually, a, you know, a four or five all, offset worm hook. Yep. Along with just the bait. Is all just the bait. Need. All right. I mean, that, that bait's heavy to start with. It is. It is. So uh, put it back in. Now you have a hundred percent weedless presentation. We can flip right up against these reeds. <laughs> now I'm looking. This bait, this bait has a very slow fall. This is not like your actual Gary Yamamoto that's like chock full of salt. They went a little cheap on the salt on this one. I got a little nail weight. You want to put it in the tail? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you got that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one is actually not sinking nearly as fast as I was hoping. A little nail weight action. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so we're gonna insert this nail weight right into the tail of this plastic. So doing this is actually gonna provide a much different presentation. More like a Neko type rig. And then it will also give me a, a much more appropriate sink weight. Yep, there we go. It's actually now gonna sink tail first and it'll sink about what I'm looking for here. Let's give this a shot. Yeah. There's one. There's one. That's a little better. That's cheating. Oh. All right. Whoa. Whoa. I couldn't see. The sun blinded me. Oh, well, we got one. The Lake Fork Tackle. Nice solid hook set. Funny enough, guys, this bait. Oh, it doubled up. Oh, you just switched. Nice, man. Okay. Dude, that was a good call. You just called the Swiss Chat, too. Oh, he's got fight. Yeah, he's yeah. Digging. He's got a feisty. He's like, I see that boat. <laughs> one on the worm and one on the yep. quick move. Swim I think bait. we might be on a uh, good good little stretch here. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Good First stuff, man. Of the day. All right. See you, little guy. No. Yeah, if, you got, <laughs> if you got one that quick on the baby bull shad, I think I've definitely got to throw... The junior contender right here. I've actually never thrown it, so this will be a great opportunity to see what it's about. Okay, wow. This has some really nice action. The way you just... Look at this, guys. 
you just gotta barely pull the bait. Real nice wide swimming action. If you twitch it, I think it, I think the be yeah the twitching is okay, but you just want to reel it slow and steady. That's gonna be the key for this guy. Nothing on that jig. Not no zero bites so far. I got a little baby. Look, he's swimming. You can see him in the water swimming with it. Oh, you got him! <laughs> God. I could literally see him in the water. I saw him grab the jig. <laughs> Guys, this is my first fish in about two hours. We're going to need to have a talk. He's got wind burn on him. That's All right. a swim jig eat right there. You're swimming. <laughs> Jeez, man. So time, what time is it? You got time? Uh, I forgot my watch. For 10. Okay, 10.25. It has been literally for me about two hours since my last fish. I fished a variety of baits. The contender, I tried the clickbait, I fished a runt, and now I fished switch to tightrope finesse jig with a Tsukoshi bug trailer. Oh, oh, is it turning I'm back getting, on? I'm getting a lot of hits. I think it's some bluegill right here. Okay. Put back on the gill. All right. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to have Steve explain why the fishing's a little bit tougher today. What's going on here, Steve? Well, it's just we had a had, we were in a in a post front kind of condition mm -hmm. today. We had we had rain, clouds yesterday, warm temperatures, and we woke up this morning to a clear sky. Yep. And and, and about 10 degrees cooler. That's right. So the water temperature has gone down probably 4, 3 to 4 degrees. Yeah. 62 that's degrees all it this takes. morning. Yep. That's all it takes. Gotcha. Yeah. So with these conditions though, as the day goes on and gets warmer, Oh, it bite, should improve. Should, bite should improve. Yes, gotcha. Absolutely. So at the moment, Weston and I are pretty much stuck to flipping the reeds, fishing slow, and most of his bites have come when he's dead stick. <laughs> when I'm on the phone. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep the tightrope jig on here. We're going to go with the exo swim for the trailer. We don't have many baits left that can be fished on the bottom, and at the moment, the bottom is definitely producing the most bites. We gotta try to adapt to the conditions the best we can, even if it's slower. Fishing's fishing, right, Steve? Absolutely. Doesn't matter where you are. If you get a cold front this time of year, those fish are not gonna be happy. They're buried. Especially in Florida. Spe oh, yeah, especially in Florida, right? Yeah. They're buried deep in that grass right now. They do not wanna eat. Uh, that was a pretty small fish, though. Again, be on it. It's another little one. <laughs> I'm dude. There we go. Well, he swallowed it. Too. He swallowed it. Yeah. yeah. I let him take it this time. <laughs> oh, another bait down, guys. That is the exo swim. We're hooking them good. We're getting we're getting fish. Not the size we're looking for, but you know we'll keep at it. We sift through enough of these. Eventually, we'll find a big one. Boop. All right, what's left? What's left in the box over here, Weston? I'm trying to crush the terminal, so I'm breaking okay. up the eagle claws right here. This I is like that. Wake, plus the, the plus the uh, blazing worm. All right, all right. And uh, I tried the headhunter again. No love for it, so I'm gonna stick with this for a minute. I'm gonna see what I can you fish with. Oh, dude, we still got this big boy. We still got the clickbait. Oh, yeah. That one's that one's one of the big fish baits. I think that's the. We got the. All right, so essentially, what we got left. Is the, are the clickbait, the runt, the contender, and the headhunter. Does that sound about right? That sounds Four about left. Right. Give us a little breeze. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm. Ah, I'm going to go with the clickbait. Fish it deep. Yo, you're near the bottom. And hopefully we can find one of those lockjaw big mamas to come out. All right. All right, clickbait. Time to get me a nice big fish. But maybe not the one this morning. No, no, no. Okay. It's definitely not the one this morning. Okay. I had a little bass chasing in. That's a sign. Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh! Let's go, Weston. Come on. <laughs> All you gotta do is hey, we'll that take it. All right. Yes, sir. Come on. There we go. Woo! Straight out of the box. So, yep, yep. We'll take it. My goodness. Woo! The got worm weights do work well with the worm. We'll tell you that much. Quarter eight. ounce. I believe it. Good job, buddy. And it's putting in the work today. Here we go. Well, I think that will truly conclude all the bottom baits out of the box. Out of the box. So now, now we got the tough ones, considering the post-frontal conditions. The real challenge. Yeah. <laughs>
I don't know how this is gonna end, but we're gonna keep grinding. I don't know. How how are we gonna get them by moving bait, Steve? Is there a way to make it happen? Uh probably not. Oh shit. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least he's honest. I'm, just, I'm being honest with yeah. you. It's gonna be really, really tough. Okay. Yeah. Well you know, if you had some stain in the water, Mike, Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 they could hone in on vibration or something like uh -huh. that. But with it clear like this, yep, yep. they're gonna see that and they're you know, they're not gonna eat it. Oh no. <laughs> We'll have to figure out a way. I'm this sorry. is a challenge. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, Steve. I appreciate the honesty. I need a lot of luck. Oh, he got... Oh, he, he hit it. He hit it. Wested on the head. We're swimming it. The moving bait? Yes. Let's go, dude. We're going to finish this out. Right off the island. It's not easy, but hey, we got bit. We got bit, Steve. All uh, right, we're gonna make it happen. The wind's starting to blow. I was like, I know that's a fish. Yeah. Right now it was decent too. Yeah. All right, so Weston's got the headhunter. I got the clickbait Ooh. right off the island. You swimming it slow? Okay. Not really, because no. I want that kick from this thing. Okay. It's, it's doing better when I swim a little faster. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. If they hit this bait, he's getting pegged. Ooh. Oh, you got him. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go, Weston. <laughs> <It's a> <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's okay. Oh my That's gosh. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Hey, come here. Wow, it turned into it, right? Oh, let's man. go, Weston. I wonder oh how I missed God. that that bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they had such a little tiny mouth. Yeah. There Dude, you that's, go. Look at it. How did? Isn't the size of the bait? Look at the bait. Yeah, how did literally. that bait fit in there? Wait a second. How this is like cannibalism. It pretty yeah. much looks like a little crappie, although it's got the bluegill profile. He he could. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. got it. He got it. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> One Not more out of the box, and that's the first moving bait that we have to knock out in quite some time since the bite slowed, so I'm Absolutely. happy. Absolutely. I have never been so happy to see another person catch a crappie. <laughs> that's all I can say. Right. All right, we're getting back in the water, ladies and gents. <laughs> One more out of the juggernaut. Yes. Three left. We got the runt, the clickbait, and the contender and junior. The cont I'm throwing the contender junior. Though. All right. Good luck, Let's man. Go. Good job. The mining company has, you know, uh, mining rights built into, into the contract so yes. they'll be here for years and years and years yeah the water's a little high oh yeah yeah those poles are strong huh power poles oh yeah was, oh I didn't this think they were that strong oh they're very strong wow they are very strong what might as well make a cast see if we get lucky right off the bat We can feel that wind too. Yeah. Yep, we're on. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. That's the run. Haven't even launched the boat. Yeah, the boat's still on the bank. We're finishing this slam, guys. Oh. We're finishing this one. Yep. It's going down. <laughs> How about that? Two baits left, Weston. Two baits left, dude. We got this. I think this uh this lake is gonna be our good luck charm. See ya. All right. Woo! You got the contender tied on? Got the All right, rock. I'm going to I'm going to the clickbait then. All right, with that wind blowing through it, like here, yeah. There he's looking juicy. <laughs> it's crazy how different this body of water is. Completely Night different. Yeah, completely different to the other part uh, to the other one. That's him! Oh, That's, him. That's him! Oh, That's him! On the clickbait! That's him! Oh, There's the clickbait Keep fish. Oh, it's not Keep bad! Oh. That's going on the scale. Alright, this is the biggest. <laughs> wow. Oh, Let me dude. Back, you up. <laughs> back we are we are down to the final bait oh, in goodness. the box. The juggernaut box. This has been a challenge. <laughs> it has insane. <laughs> it has indeed been a challenge. It's these conditions we're dealing with that have made it a freaking challenge. Ate it nice and good. So guys, we are about to finish the Juggernaut Slam. And there's a secondary mission at hand. Yep. Each of the four teams, teams of two, are weighing their best five fish. Weston here actually caught a two and a half pounder on a speed worm not too long ago. That is, our, that is the first fish we weighed. This will be the second fish we've weighed. So now we are switching gears from the Juggernaut box to 
our best five our best fish. fish. <laughs> We're switching gears here, <laughs> and I am looking at 1.80 right 1 here for that fish. All right, see you, little guy, or medium guy. <laughs> Whew. Nice. You got that contender on? Yes. All right, I'll let you handle that. I'll complete this thing. Yep, yes, sir. <laughs> and then we'll beat everyone else. Best of five. Heck yes. Go time. Oh, it's a, it's a light patch right here. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh the contender! Go. The contender! Oh. The contender! Bring it, Bring it home, dude! Bring, Bring it home! home. Got him. We finally oh. got one! To on the contender! We had three minutes left, dude. That's that was crazy. The last spot. And that was the, watch the hooks. Watch that the hooks. was the last bait. Oh my god. For gosh. the juggernaut slam challenge. Great job, man. Okay, let's get him on hooks. 